Aquarius, uh, don't be surprised if things are popping up for you that uh, you don't know where they're coming from, especially feelings regarding old love affairs, maybe financial conflicts, things that seem to be coming out of the blue, or at least concerns for them that are coming out of the blue, because there's a huge conjunction or combustion that's happening in Capricorn right now. And Capricorn is your 12th house, 12th house of mysteries, which is these things could be coming up in your dreams. All of a sudden you could get emotional about things. You don't know why you're getting emotional about them. It's because there's this transformative effect. Pluto combusts the sun happening in Capricorn, which is your 12th house with Venus right there um, in retrograde, right? So let them come up. Let yourself feel. Um, don't question it. Honor everything that you're experiencing right now. Honor it not by making it your ultimate truth, but honor it by understanding that it's a part of you and it's essential for you right now to be feeling these feelings or to be remembering these these experiences in your life that you've gone through. If If lovers pop up, this would this would not surprise me at all. Um, and it's not necessarily meaning that they're supposed to be back in your life, but they're talking to you. It's almost like they're, they're, they're there to pop up or bring up things that are meant to inspire change or incite change. Um, it could feel catastrophic. It feel, could feel in some ways that it's threatening to destroy your world. You thought that these things were finished. You thought these things were done. Um, and these things are finished and they are done somewhere on the other side of all this. And yes, we are going to be getting to the other side of all this. It's just going to take um, a couple more weeks, right? So what I'm saying to you is allow, allow even the terror, allow, um, allow without question. It's like be your own best friend. When we ask, like when we talk to a friend, we don't really want advice. We just want a shoulder to cry on. We just want somebody to listen. So often people feel like they're supposed to be giving advice or, or fixing our problems for us. That's not even what we want. What we want is just for people just to be heard, right? And so that's what your emotions and all these sudden craziness that's happening, it just wants to be heard and hear it. And if you honor it, there's going to be such a cathartic experience and transformative energy that kind of like fuels you to actually be able to I don't know, be a hell of a lot more strong and a hell of a lot more powerful because the 12th house is the house of things long gone, not yet. It's, 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 it's just, a, it's just chaotic what could come out of it, but it also makes it the most powerful house, what could come out of it. And the only way to really control it is not control it and to honor what you're experiencing there. Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it on your social media platforms and ring that bell so you know, um, so you can get notified when I upload your favorite content. Let's get into the cards. Oh, Aquarius. 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 Make your dreams real. Um, and then we have set healthy boundaries. And then we have time to let go of something that's been gnawing at your heart. Okay. Sometimes the healthiest boundary is no boundary at all. And I say that as somebody who named their channel Born Without Boundaries, knowing how important it was to learn how to build boundaries and um, that you had a right to be able to say no when it didn't work for you. But part of setting healthy boundaries is to know when to let yourself, let it in, let yourself feel, um, let yourself understand and let yourself look at and come face to face with. Um, and this has to do with darker aspects. There's a lot of scorpionic energy here. Um, so I feel there's, there's just tremendous amounts of Scorpio energy here. Uh, and that's, because Pluto 
um, is in your 12th house. And so a lot's coming up from the depths. A lot's like re-emerging. I thought that was gone. It isn't gone. It's okay. It's okay that it's not gone. And in fact, it may be actually very beautiful because that scorpionic energy teaches us to love transformation. Those things that destroy us actually build us up stronger. It teaches us to not be afraid, right? Or at least not fear fear, right? To not be limited by fear. What are the things that you have feared the most? They're the things that you're confronting right now. Now, this could be other people controlling you, other people manipulating you, being manipulated by the fact that somebody means something to you more than you actually want them to mean, um, being afraid to allow people to mean as much to you as you as as you really feel for them. What does that mean? Um, putting up walls so that somebody doesn't see, um, so that they can't control you. But is that also you controlling you in a way that's actually doing worse harm? all of those questions are kind of swarming you right now um there has been hardship with what you have been trying to accomplish that doesn't mean that it's not meant to be it actually i think is designed to Im almost improve your focus and uh almost in like a what do they call it reverse psychology kind of way the more difficulties it's putting at you, the more it knows that your stubborn ass is going to fucking react to like, okay, well then I'm just going to do it more. I'm going to want it more. And that's kind of what it is. It's almost like because you can't have it, you want it more. Or because the challenges are here, you are more inspired to resist giving up because you don't want to let somebody else win. And I actually fucking love that energy about you. And it's, it's contrived. It's contrived by the universe to make you get out of your own way okay a little bit insightfulness there aquarius aquarius something doesn't want to come out aquarius aquarius your confidence has been compromised also, your son has been compromised. The sense of self and who I am and which direction am I going and have I made the right choices. Um, be generous of spirit. Maybe you. Maybe I've been too generous. Maybe I'm getting stepped on and maybe I'm getting walked on right now. I don't really know why this is happening. Something has shaken your confidence. Be here now in the present time. Things are actually quite beautiful. This is Libra energy almost seeing something that you want and maybe never having felt seeing something so beautiful seeing something so amazing and having it kind of humble you and make you question your confidence or what your confidence has been built on to be in the presence of true beauty of something that really really inspires you and makes you want to i don't know be a better version of yourself all of those things are meant to make you a better version of yourself. That's kind of what it's being built on. This is Libra energy. It could have to do with partnerships right now. Remember, Venus is in retrograde. So I feel like there's a lot coming up right now about maybe somebody finally recognizing your beauty, somebody coming back and telling you that and not really fucking up your head. This is the thing. Accept the compliment. It doesn't have to be you accepting them back, but it does mean that you're accepting, you're accepting their validation of your value, right? That's, that's what it means. It, it's, it's got nothing to do with, um, um, allowing or, or doing over. No, it has to do with allowing the moment to happen and seeing how beautiful that is. Also taking stock and maybe finally recognizing the beauty of something that you didn't recognize before or that you pushed aside, you buried, um, that kind of thing. Um, realizing even in some ways just how astoundingly beautiful you are when you cry. I know that sounds crazy, but recognizing how how glorious it is to be a human who feels things and who can get upset and who can get attached and who does associate meeting with things 
outside of themselves and how beautiful that makes you and how not vulnerable but powerful or maybe vulnerable yeah but how but how absolutely exquisite that is and i think you're starting to see beauty in these kind of things that maybe you've not you've not been able to see beauty in before and where this may have been a challenge to you or it may have wrecked you in the past it really is not it, it's hurting, but it's also inspiring. And in that way, it's healing you. Remember that 12th house energy that is ruled initially by Pisces. Jupiter and Neptune are in Pisces. They get along very well. This is about finding our God space, being brought closer to God and the ability to create when one doesn't put any boundaries on oneself. And this is a this is the, this is the start. This is the seed that's being planted in you to start recognizing opportunities that may have been right in front of you and you missed simply because you weren't capable of seeing it yet. It's this catharsis. It's this pain that's that's tra that's that's um, changing you. That is actually um, setting you up for those 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 beginnings, those new beginnings in your life. Hmm. And it's good that your confidence is kind of compromised. Leo energy is your um, direct opposite energy, right? Maybe not having confidence in those aspects of yourself that you've always um, felt were in contention with you or who you wanted to be or how you wanted to be seen. Um, this is also Aquarius energy. Spirit has a plan is coming out way in the future. So all of this is sort of faded. And so if you don't feel really in control of yourself right now, it's because you're not it's because spirit has a future for you that you're you don't have complete and total um insight into yet and so in a lot of ways you really just have to have faith and that's very difficult right because it's all it's not even just difficult to have faith but it's, it's difficult to know am i having faith in the right thing right should i should i really be sitting back and doing nothing when do i do something and when do i do so, when do i not do something what am i supposed to allow and when am i supposed to be it is confusing, right? And the only way you're going to know is if you listen to that tiny voice inside of yourself and you trust it, you trust it, you trust it. Open to infinite possibilities. This is a star card. It's coming out a little bit in the future. So it's not that you're going to go unnoticed or that you will be deprived of any kind of attention or recognition or validation. Star card is also Aquarian energy, right? That's what it is. It's who you are. So this is um, spirit has a plan looking at the higher truth this is you catching somebody's attention that has the ability to move you forward it just hasn't happened yet but this is how it's happening it's allowing yourself to break down and crumble it's allowing yourself to be weak and be compromised and allowing your ego to be crushed in order for your strength to really be built whether you realize it or not you may have felt a hell of a lot more worthy when you were all dressed up and perfectly placed and perfectly prepped it's this ugliness that's actually going to make you shine it's it's the strength in this in this time that's actually going to make you shine and you're so focused like you've got to get your focus out of its own way and you're so focused on um basically just getting through this shit because it's it's tremendously i feel like it's a tremendously emotional time um hold on i'm sorry i'm sorry i apologize um it's a tremendously emotional time um basically allowing that to be seen allowing yourself to allow it is what has actually gotten gotten noticed and it's in some ways part of the divine intervention in your contribution to the overall plan of what spirit has uh moving forward okay I gotta grab the moon card i don't know why i gotta grab the moon card i just know i gotta grab the moon show the world the real you full moon in aquarius well that should tell you everything and it's landing right on top of the star card and who is the real you not your version of you or the version that you want people to believe but what you are really what you are really 
your level of vulnerability is very important right now. Your commitment is being tested. You're not being tested here. That that's it's not. You're you're not. It's this isn't a test. This is a liberation. And then we have a fiery climax approaches Aries energy that I feel in some ways is also a timestamp for you. Um, because Aries energy, Aries, um, Aries season is coming up in April. So there is some confrontation that needs to happen or some recognition or breakthrough that actually happens confronting this person, confronting the situation, allowing yourself to fucking explode. This is essential right now. It is going to happen. You could probably already feel the rumbling or the beginning of the lighting of the fire, the lighting of the fuse. This is when it explodes toward Aries season. And ultimately what comes out is um, your truth. Your truth and the explosion. It's, it's definitely, I feel like if finally confronting something. I feel a confrontation. I feel a confrontation coming. What is that about? What is that about, this confrontation? Uh, exchanging gifts. You're not going to go through this alone. And you're going to get answers. So this has something to do with how you have been sharing yourself, how you have been ex exchanging your gifts, how you have been sharing yourself, right? It's got something to do with this. This Maybe you've been defending your territory or you feel like you've had conflicts with your boss or your superiors. Something here is like how the exchange has been happening is where this tension is building and why this is a sense of you want answers. You want answers to um, why you haven't been maybe getting the results that you want, why you haven't been getting the uh, attention that you know that you deserve. All of those things um, are what's coming to a head and where you, you can't stand being in the dark about this anymore. You just got to have to come out and confront something. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that fuse is lit. Aquarius, that fuse is lit. It's intentional. It's intentional. Aquarius. So we have emotional loss and stand your ground. Okay. So there's been a disinterest that you know is somehow false. Emotional withdrawal is here in the past. This happened, this started happening a while ago. And then emotional loss. There's a, there's disinterest. That's what I got. There's some sort of disinterest that you know is not natural. There's almost a sense of, I know this is gonna sound really impractical or really arrogant, but it's like, why have people not been noticing me? This drop off isn't, isn't right it doesn't feel appropriate you feel intentionally blocked right you do and then it's to incite you to actually do something about it taking a stand taking a stand because you don't want to lose this enthusiasm you don't want to feel like like refusing to lose enthusiasm that meant so much to you right? This is a sense of, I, and that's the confrontation, right? That's that Aries energy. I'm standing up for something that was lost. Um, what is that something? It's got to do with these feelings, these feelings that are rumbling inside of you, a sense of, a sense of um, something ain't right here. What ain't right here? What's going on? Aquarius, what, what is the root of this conflict? Friends, happiness, abundance, people celebrating you. People were celebrating you and now it seems like that's teetered out. The answers are closer than you think. And they're in, they're in people that you may not have realized or given much associate. Maybe you didn't want to associate yourself with, with certain groups. But ultimately, they, they carry some insight that you really need right now. Let's go to tarot. Let me pick a few more cards. Mm, hold on. I wanted to do these. Somebody has not been looking in the right direction. I can tell you that right now. They've been looking in a traditional direction. They've been looking in a direction that... Um, they've been looking in a traditional direction. They've been looking in a direction that 
they've been looking in the wrong direction because it's like it's sitting right over their head. Why aren't they looking at something that's less traditional? Why aren't they looking at the birds above? Why isn't he looking at them? They're the ones that have the solution. He doesn't even know they're fucking there at first, right? This is like the aha moment. Um, it's almost like somebody doesn't even know what they feel yet, right? Because they just, they're so clueless. And then we have inspired warrior, more Aries energy. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries, but this is definitely, a, this Aries energy keeps coming up and the confrontation is happening. It's, it's, it's about to exp coming out in Aries season, the confrontation, the conflict, actually saying something or doing something. Right now, I think there's a... Uh, it's you're trying to contain yourself, but you can't. You can feel it building inside of you. You can feel the eruption coming. Um, this could be somebody that you thought that you were over. This could be with somebody that you thought, oh, I don't have feelings for them anymore. You maybe had to move yourself away from them because you needed peace. This person doesn't naturally give you peace, um, but ultimately they're re-emerging and there's still emotions there. They're just, they're just suppressed. Now let's go to tarot. <laughs> um, whew, um, yeah, this is blowing me away. I will see you guys in the extended. The link is below.